Hey everyone, Bird here from Burnstone TV Gaming, back with another money-making guide for Albion Online, and welcome to the ninth episode of the Billionaire Project. This is the series where I teach you money-making tips with real calculations and real results. In this installment, we are going to take a look at how I make millions of silver by crafting cloth sandals. If you have watched other episodes, you of course know that there will be a silver giveaway at the end of the video. With all that being said, roll the intro and let's get into it. As I said in one of my videos, crafting is one of the end game money making activities in Albion Online because it takes time to spec up on items and make decent and consistent profit. But as I demonstrated in the same video, you can still make a lot of profit with low tier items if you know what to craft and where to sell them. This video will be a bit different from that one though because we are going to compare the profit gain from three different tiers of the same item category. In this case, non-artifact cloth sandals. In this video, we are going to compare tier 4, tier 5, and tier 6 to see what has the best percentage and raw profit, and at the end, I will give you my recommendations depending on your level. Alright, let's do this. The first step is to acquire the cloth needed for this session. You can either gather them on your own or buy them from the market. You can gather fiber and refined tier 4 cloth but if you are planning to use tier 5 or tier 6, it is better just to buy them from the marketplace. When buying cloth, make sure to get them from Limhurst because more often than not, you can buy them the cheapest and the fastest there. This is especially true for tier 4 and tier 5, but less for tier 6. The reason is because Limhurst gives the highest return rate when crafting cloth. Make sure to place buy orders to save a lot of silver for the resources needed for this crafting method. I was able to buy the necessary resources for 244 for tier 4, 1207 for tier 5, and 3236 for tier 6. For every tier, I only bought 999 pieces or one stack for us to make a fair comparison in terms of percentage profit. Once my buy orders were completed, I transported everything to Bridgewatch to craft them all to cloth sandals. I chose Bridgewatch because this is where I can craft cloth sandals with the highest return rate. You can check the return rates in each city by opening the minimap and clicking on the drop down arrow on the top right corner of the screen. Before I went to the mage tower though, I stopped by the marketplace to buy a couple of potato salads to increase my crafting quality and decrease my crafting time. Alright, this next step is crucial for this method to be extremely profitable. You need to have imbuer journals with you while you are crafting. Filling journals has honestly become one of my main sources of silver in Albion Online in the past few weeks because of how much profit can be generated from doing so. When buying empty journals, make sure to check the prices between the marketplace and the laborers. If you do not know, you can directly buy journals from laborers and there are times where it is cheaper than the journals in the marketplace. When this video was recorded, there was a significant price difference between the journals from the two sources and it was way cheaper to buy them from the laborers, especially for tier 4 and tier 5. It was so significant in fact that buying journals from laborers and selling them to the marketplace was a money making activity in itself. I was able to buy tier 4 journals for 2000, tier 5 journals for 4000, and tier 6 journals for 8000. You need 25 tier 4 journals per stack of tier 4 cloth, 50 for tier 5, and 75 for tier 6. Before crafting all of them, I went to the black market to check what the best item is per tier. For this crafting session, it is the mage sandals for all tiers. If you want to know how I do this, I will leave a link to my previous crafting video in the description below. Do make sure to do this step to maximize your profit. With all the materials, 
food and journals ready, I looked for the mage's tower with the lowest usage fee and proceeded to crafting. It is important to note that I did not use any focus points while crafting to demonstrate that it is not necessary to use them to make this method profitable. Although if you want to make more profit, you can of course use them as well. For this session, with one stack of each tier, I was able to craft 165 pieces of each tier of mage sandals. I was able to fill 24 tier 4 journals, 49 tier 5 journals, and 74 tier 6. I sold all the filled journals to the Bridgewatch marketplace and sold the cloth sandals to the black market. When traveling through the red zone, make sure to have scouts with you to make your journey safer. I also made a few adjustments to my gears while transporting stuff to the black market. I now use a soldier helmet, a guardian armor and courier boots, a blood letter and a sacred scepter, and of course a fort sterling cape. I think these gears are better than the full miner set I mentioned in my previous video. Now let's take a look at the cost analysis per tier. For tier 4, I invested 313,000 silver. That's for the cloth and the journals, and the overall sale was 404,000, making the profit at 90,000 per stack or equivalent to 29%. For tier 5, I invested 1.4 million silver and got back 1.7 million, which makes the profit equal to 238,000, and that is 16%. For tier 6, I invested just under 4 million and got back just a little above 4 million. So that makes the profit equal to 193,000 or 5%. If you are a new player, I do recommend focusing on tier four, but limiting it to two stacks per crafting session for you to be able to sell the items in the black market faster. For me, I do this every day with tier five cloth sandals, and I usually use four stacks of tier five cloth. Depending on the prices of the resources, my profit usually hovers around 1 million silver per session. This video is part of the new series I'm creating where I craft all the items in the game and I will do it per category from tier 4 to tier 6 and compare all of them to see what the most profitable item is. I know this will take some time, so I created a new system where I can update the process on all of the videos of this new series once a week so you get up-to-date information. So make sure to check back every week and read the video description to know if anything changes. With the money-making guide done, let's move on to the giveaway. In the previous episode, I hosted another silver giveaway and most of you probably didn't watch until this part of the video because only one player did it correctly. In order to enter the previous episode's raffle, you had to leave a comment with your in-game name and the hashtag the billionaire project, along with other requirements. Since there was only one real entry for that giveaway, the winner is Dark Brom for just literally following the instructions, and he won 5 million silver. It was only supposed to be 3.6 million based on the stats of the video, but I will give him an extra for being the only one who followed the instructions. So once again, congratulations, and please check your in-game mail to know how you can claim your prize. Another episode, another giveaway. To enter this week's giveaway, all you have to do is to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave your in-game name with the hashtag TheBillionaireProject9, and join Albion VIP Crafters if you haven't already. If you follow all of that, you will be qualified to win the giveaway. Again, make sure to follow all those steps to enter the giveaway. So that's it for the entire video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from it. But until then, this has been Bernard from Birdstone TV Gaming saying do something you love every single day. I'll see you in the next episode of The Billionaire Project. Peace.